Good afternoon, everyone. Okay. Um, so my name is Stan Vasu. I'm an executive director. Um, I'm here on behalf of my awesome team, Team Excellence. Thanks a lot for our uh, Jeremy and Xperia team for giving me the, giving this opportunity for me to talk about uh, about um, um, in the event. Um, now, special thanks to our hierarchy FML um, hierarchy Mauro, uh, Frank and also Adiola for giving an awesome uh, leadership and uh, coaching. Um, okay, today I'm gonna talk about a solution for changing world, okay? So let's move on. All right, a little bit about my experience. Um, so I landed in Canada for 2007, came over here with an experience, a uh, little bit of experience with my degree, and then as a uh, immigrant lifestyle, how do I start it? Um, applying for many jobs and then guess what? A lot of people call me and then, but they ask about, do you have a Canadian experience? And then I said, I don't have it. So then unfortunately we won't be able to give you a job. Then guess what? 60 jobs, 70 jobs, 80 jobs, 100 jobs I applied, nothing working. So then I started with the survival jobs and then move on to uh, college and then university. And then I came out from the university after four or five years and then found a job. Now, after being in the job for one year, guess what? In one day, one Friday evening, and then 15 people might, uh, got laid off. So how many of you know, many of them are here like the layoff, right? It's like many, many people went through or whoever you know, they somehow they got laid off, right? So then I realized, man, all this being, I wanted to get experience, I want to study and I have to do something but now what happened, it's, it's people getting laid off. So it, in that point onwards, I realized that is, this is not going to be my life here, right? So I have to do something. I wanted to uh, do part-time or I have to save my life. So that's how the burning desire. So it's come started burning. I, want, I was looking for an opportunity. Now, the statistics in Canada says 300,000 new immigrants, Canadian uh, Canada is allowing. So every year, 300,000 new immigrants is coming here. So in that way, so 25,000 people in a month and 833 in a day, that's the new immig immigrants landing at the airport. Guess what? Do we have every single day, do we have 833 jobs available, right? So it's something, it's like interesting. We have to think about it, right? And then guess what? Like many, many places. Now it's technology advance is good, but it's replacing people. So the Walmart and then the Home Depot and, and many places, a lot of people, now it's become a self-checkout, right? There are times and we have seen many, like a 20 cashiers or 30 cashiers, but now it's like a 20 machines, just one person's managing, right? So there are times when I came 2007, it was someone advised me, hey, if you want to study, get a security job and you want to be, able, you, you can study and then you can work. But that time was good. But now 20 cameras, one person sitting and managing, see? So technology advances a good thing, but again, it's challenging human life, right? It's, we, we have to, it's going to change every day. And then we are going to have many challenges. So by 2035, 50 million jobs will be lost to the machines. That's what the statistics says. So now let's move on. If this is the way guys going to be, what's go, what is the next steps going to be? Can you guess? It's going to be a robot, right? So now if you, if you go to work and you're gonna see half of them is going to be a robot and then many are technologies changing. So that's what it is. Now we all came in here to find an opportunity in this country. And on the same flight, all the jobs are moving to the overseas, right? So the 15, uh, the job, what I, I was telling, the 15 people got laid off. What happened after certain, sometimes the company shut down and the company moved to US. So that's what it is. Employers are trying and they wanted to cut down and then they depend on the machines, right? Machines doesn't go on sick. Machine doesn't go on vacation. Machine can, uh, machine don't fight each other, right? So it works 24 seven. So people like it. So the employer perspective, they like it. So who is going to have the challenge? Us, 
So that's the thing, like you have to think about it. So now imagine the, how the technology changed in the last 10 years, right? If you look at the Walmart, they have like almost everything. There are times we went to Walmart for clothing and then shoes and a couple of stuff. But now it's became a small mall. So you can find breads and you can find vegetables, you can find fish and you can get almost everything in haircut and law office, everything in one place, right? Guess what? But they don't own any products, but that's kind of going to be the, the future. So now how these uh, Apple and then Mike, uh, the Samsung and everything, they brought the, the, the technology world, they brought the world into, into your hand, right? So now you don't go, you don't, like you can do everything in your phone. How many times you went to banks, there are times every Thursday and Friday we had to stand in the bank, but now you do everything, you check your, your paycheck and you eat transfer, you deposit, you pay your bills and everything is, and, and, and also it's became a mini computer now. So what about the Airbnb? Airbnb is the largest accommodation, and then they don't know even on a single real estate property, right? So you can you can find very very affordable price with a, uh, finding a place. So what about the Facebook, the biggest social media? So social media, and they don't even have any contents, right? But what about Amazon? They're the number one in the world, but they don't have any inventory, right? So what about the Uber? Uber changed the entire taxi industry. There are times, many things, if you stand in the road, you see so many taxis passing by. But now, Uber, everywhere Uber. Uber went every, even went to many locations. Now, guess what? They don't own any single vehicle, right? So now I'm gonna introduce Experian. So Experian is the, we are the number one in the financial industry world best agency compensation and ownership model, and we don't own any product, right? Guess what? Many people ask, hey, Sam, you work for Xperia, and then are these guys an insurance company? Are you an insurance agent? This is what people ask me. I said, no. And are you guys an investor? I said, no. So then what? No, this is like, we work with everybody. We don't have any product, but we work with many companies, guys. I'm going to show you very, very important things. What is the traditional business versus the experience? In the traditional industry, you sell only term insurance or term insurance or insurance and investment. That's what it is, the old industry. Or you work for one company and try to sell their products, right? So what about, what's the difference? How are we different? We are experienced. And then we have everything, like from newborn to enter someone pass away, but even after pass away, we can help anything come to A to Z in financial industry. So that's what it is. People like it. People like to save money and people like to save time. So one place, one person can handle every single my family uh, a solution, financial solutions, and then I better deal with one of the person, right? Rather, I look for somebody and so and so. So guys, this is what it is. I'm gonna end up with this. Three things, remember. Number one, talk to many people, many times. There are a lot of people looking for opportunity. Talk to many people. If someone didn't talk to me, I wouldn't be here, right? And number three is anybody, anybody can be your, 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 your they can be your client or they can be your, your uh, team member and talk to many of them. And guys, let's build this 2021 together with a big business with awesome experienced company. All right. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Bye.